Welcome to the Edge Market Update for December 15th, 2023. And even though corn prices haven't uh, moved higher, we are seeing corn exports uh, start to pick up. We're about 35% higher than last year as Brazil is quickly running out of exportable corn. They had a large second corn crop last year that was exported to China, but soon China will uh, be demanding our corn uh, here from December all the way to uh, probably close to February and March, uh, our export window should be wide open and hopefully that helps price uh, carry higher. Crude oil is rebounding after a low set this week. We saw crude oil futures down below $70 and um, we did get uh, a rally to end the week. Uh, did get a quote on farm diesel locked in uh, for April delivery of 2024, uh, just under $3 a gallon. So that's a pretty good price um, if you are concerned about uh, booking some uh, for farm diesel for next spring. But we'll go ahead and get started with the old crop corn contract here. We're on the March 24. We closed the week at $4.83. And we continue to consolidate uh, from in this large uh, bull flag here. Uh, back from really July, August time frame, uh, we've got this long range uh, trend line support and we have long range trend line resistance. And we keep uh, consolidating and coiling inside of this uh, flag for a bigger move at some point. So we are uh, seeing this flag narrow quite a bit. At some point, the market is going to have to decide whether it's time to break out above or break out below, and it's likely to happen in a big way after coiling in price for such a long time. So for next week, um, we have resistance here at the 485 to 480 level, and we have support in the 468 range on the trend line support. We closed right at the uh, 9 and 50 day moving average, or excuse me, the 20 day moving average at 483 today. Uh, the moving averages have kind of been a magnet uh, on price so far. So hopefully uh, can test this resistance level next week. We'll have immediate resistance at 491 where the 50 day moving average is. If we could potentially get up above that, um, would really start to target the $5 area followed by the prior high of 521 a bushel. Uh, volume has really slowed here. As you can see, uh, you know, the, the last WASDI report we had brought a little bit of volume in, but we've really been uh, pretty low here as traders are taking off time before Christmas. Um, doesn't mean we won't have volatility, just less active uh, traders here in the month of December. In regards to strength indicators, we're pretty neutral right now. Um, you know, that's, that's really about it on strength. I mean, we have a little bit of positive divergence forming, but um, we also just say, can't seem to get above this neutral level in this market right now. Money flows did get very oversold this week, and it looks like it's trying to form a bottom. So that is uh, a good thing if we do get some positive price action next week. Uh, certainly have uh, some room to run here on the money flows in the short term. Long-term momentum, we are still in a negative Posture, we're under the neutral line here, but we are seeing a little bit of a trend back to neutral, very slow, uh, but um, just a little positive there. Uh, but in the long, in the long term, uh, still in a negative momentum in regards to um, the long-term view of the market. According to New Crop Corn, we closed at five dollars and twelve cents a bushel, and we closed right above the. Uh, 20 and 9 day moving averages, but below the 50. Again, we have long term resistance here on this trend line. Uh, you know, we had the prior high at 517. Next week, uh, that'll be at about 515 down to 512. I uh, would have to overcome the 50 day moving average as well at $5.13. So, um, have plenty of work to do. We've just been coiling. Uh, this The corn market has been a dog, it's been a boring trade. It's been, um, you know, it's frustrating if you've stored corn. It just really hasn't done much. Um, so hopefully we can get a good move here uh, as we move into the new year. We did see some good buying on the new uh, crop contract today and yesterday. Um, so that is slightly bullish actually um, for price. Uh, just hope we can get some continuation next week. Strength indicators are neutral. Money flows did bottom out and are bouncing, so that is a bullish uh, factor here in the short term if we can, can um, continue that next week. 
Long-term momentum has been very flat. Um, we're right about the neutral line on this market. Um, so in the long term, a pretty neutral market on new crop corn. New, or excuse me, old crop soybeans were on the January contract. Um, a little bit concerned about this market. We just can't get a lot of, uh, I don't know, just traders aren't, we, we keep seeing these bounces off of longer term support here and just it fizzles out right when we hit the moving averages. Um, so we close the week above the nine day moving average. That is positive. Um, we have certainly have more resistance here where the 50 and 20 day moving averages are meeting at 1329. Uh, if price can get above there, certainly can make a run towards the upper $13 range, um, but have a lot of work to do. Uh, must hold support here is $13. If we keep testing it, there's a higher likelihood it's going to fail, um, and that would lead to a more uh, significant sell off down to that 1270 area where. Uh, really, if we don't hold there, could see a more negative picture on the uh, soybean market, but hope to continue to see these support levels hold and, and make its way uh, upward to, to make some uh, more sales on any stored soybeans that you have after harvest. We do have some uh, negative divergence here on the strength indicators, so hopefully um, can break out above next week. Um, but as for now, we are in a negative trend. Money flows are heading back lower for now. And long-term momentum, uh, we're back to a just under a neutral reading, but we have a negative trend forming as well. So hopefully that can correct itself and we can get some positive price action and we can move towards that upper uh, $13 range again to make some more old crop sales. And then finally, new crop, we close the week at $12.76. Again, we have some negative uh, uh, price resistance here we had the prior high this week at 1292 um, and we closed below the 20 and the 50 day moving averages again so um, just just have some negative pressure on price it seems like i uh, would really like to keep seeing uh, that 1258 down to the 1251 range hold as support if we do get some negative action next week but if we get back above here certainly could see a 1292 test or get back into that 13 dollar range um, which would be nice to see again on new crop soybeans. Negative divergence here on the strength indicators again, um, but we're close to breaking out of it. So any positive price action next week uh, could, could certainly um, you know, change the direction of this trade. Money flows are coming back down to more of a neutral reading and long-term momentum uh, is trending slightly negative. We're, we're at a neutral reading again, um, but really just need some more volume uh, with Christmas being around the corner. Uh, not going to see a ton of volume as traders are taking off time. Um, but other than that, want to uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys have a great weekend.